Home Alone. Huh? Home Alone. What? Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you want? Do you know it's Halloween today? It is? Oh. It is. Oh, okay, already? Well, okay, what does that mean? That we have to bring out a Halloween video. Uh, okay, yeah, there's only one problem. I don't actually have a Halloween video right now. No Halloween video? No, sorry. You doomed. <laughs> Hello there, fellow adventurers! Lucy Dreaming is the first full-length adventure game developed by Tall Story Games, who previously made the short game Hair of the Dog, which came first in my Top 10 Adventure X Jam video. Da, 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 da. Number one. I admit I got a review code from the developer for this, which I don't always do as I'm afraid that if I don't like the game I won't have enough nice things to say about it, and as Thumper's father would say, if you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. With Lucy Dreaming though, I already knew that it was going to be bloody brilliant. I played the demo last year, which actually is different content from the final game. The objective is to find various things to help Lucy sleep, like a comforting toy or a warm drink. It's also the first time we get a glimpse of Lucy's elusive parents. No! <laughs> no! My, my calm tape! The most useful thing I learned from this demo is how to warm up milk with a hairdryer. There we go, some lovely warm milk! So let's dive into the full game just like Lucy here. She wakes up from her nightmare and sets out to find something that will help her sleep. The title is a play on the term lucid dreaming, which is a dream in which the dreamer becomes aware that they are dreaming while dreaming. You know, when you're dreaming a dream and it's a dream within a dream. Then it's a dream. The whole game revolves around an ingenious mechanic where you create a dream box, and what items you put in the box affects what's in the dream, as well as other things you can change in the real world that affects the dream world. In this way, it's very reminiscent of Dark Seed or Fran Bow. Of course, this is a pixel art game, and every pixel is used to its full potential. The level of detail here is incredible. For example, being able to look at all the books in Lucy's bookcase, which includes The Taming of the Tentacle, Chucking Wood, How Much is Too Much, and Fly Fishing by J.R. Hartley. My name, oh yes, it's J.R. Hartley. There's also a joke book with jokes specially written for plants that you can read to Jeff your Venus flytrap. Why don't carnivorous plants like wearing trousers? Because their flies keep getting stuck. He loves these. Maybe I should read him another one. Hey Jeff, uh, wanna hear a joke? Why are carnivorous plants so good at keeping secrets? They keep their traps shut. This was a Kickstarter back game and some of the backers make an appearance in this photo album. Among them, of course, is the famous Lake Cubilius. I wouldn't be here without him. There's plenty to do before we leave the house and go exploring, like saving our teddy bear, Mr. Fumble, from being tortured by our sadistic brother. No! Mr. Fumble! Mr. Fumble plays an essential part in the game, which I can't say too much about because the spoiler police arrested me after my return to Monkey Island video and made me promise not to give spoilers for new releases. What? No what? Why are you hitting me with a rubber chicken? 
No spoilers, no spoilers, no spoilers. All right, all right, all right. I'm not gonna make any spoilers in this video, I promise. Do you believe me? <laughs> what I will say is that Lucy's nightmares have something to do with the theme park she went to when she was younger. Or maybe she was traumatized by watching Jurassic Park. Lucy regains more of her memories as the game progresses, and overcomes her nightmares with the help of some good old pointing and clicking. Playing this game without a walkthrough, my point and click skills were really put to the test, and I admit I got stuck several times and had to ask developer Tom Hardwidge for some hints. Not that the solution was entirely illogical, I was just on the wrong train of thought. For example, I couldn't figure out how to get a bubblegum fruity shooty from the shop without having to pay for it. I thought I had to swap it with a medicine bottle in my inventory which looks similar, but that wasn't so far off the solution. You're a dab hand with that pricing gun. I know, right? I don't even need to look while I do it. Bam, price it up. Bam, reload. Bam, price it up again. Bam, price it up. Bam, reloaded. Bam, price it up again. Bam, why I should do that, <laughs> okay, bam, right I don't like okay, it, okay, bam, price it up, bam, reloaded. Although getting stuck for too long can really get on my tits. Nice tits. It also made me appreciate the game more and take the time to admire things, such as the line of snot that comes out of this creature's nose every time he sneezes. <laughs> this is one of the dream worlds we can enter by using the dream box, where everything is about bread. I'll leave the other dreams as a surprise, but this one took me back to when I used to collect sticker albums as a kid. Master Bakers of the Universe, that's a bit of a stretch. Are you a fan of the adventures of Heenan? Should I be? I'm actually still missing a few for my HeroQuest album. If anyone would like to trade for Fire Mage sticker C, Wizard Zombie sticker T, or Spirit Blade sticker Y. Getting back to the puzzles, I'd describe them as very adventure gamey. In other words, things are never quite straightforward. For example, we need to open this package, but for some inexplicable reason, there's no scissors in the house. So we have to find something else sharp to open it, but it's not anything you would usually open a package with, like a knife. There's actually a very good reason why there's no scissors around. Uh, okay, all right, that's a spoiler. The music by Bertrand Guagan is suitably jaunty and reflects Lucy's playful character, and there's a buttload of sound effects which is just missing one for the Oxfart English Dictionary. The Oxfart English Dictionary. <laughs> there's also some stellar voice acting including members of developer Tom Hardwidge's own family, which goes to show how much of a personal passion project this is. What is this place? The Trap! It's a comedy club for carnivorous plants. Adventure game regular Sally Beaumont plays the town librarian, who demonstrates the latest in library technology. Now I think of the book I want to borrow. The bibliotheque searches my soul. Uh, I mean, it scans the electrical impulses in my brain. This guy sounds very familiar. Why did you swap the police force for food? Back when I was younger, I trained hard to be accepted into the force. I learned combat, investigative skills, and was even captain of a small team. Eh, but I never discovered the true secret of fitting in. But did he discover the secret of Monkey Island? Ow. That's right, it's none other than Dominic Armado, the voice of everyone's favorite mighty pirate. Hey, hey, hey! It's the guy! It's so good to meet you in person, you mighty pirate you! In making this video, I only just realized how the dialogue subtly name drops every Monkey Island game. Other officers were jealous of my achievements and wanted revenge. That's just the curse of success, I suppose. I had to escape, so I started a new career. That's the end of my tales from the police force. You never know. I may return to it one day. But I'm sure it's changed a lot since I left. There's so many things like this that make me appreciate Lucy Dreaming even more. Like how you can talk to certain objects and it gives a unique response. Here are just a few of my favourites. Donatello, are you down there? You're my biggest fan. Leonardo? Hey Mr Badger, 
Don't lose your head. Raphael? Hi, Annette. Michelangelo? Anyone? <laughs> no mutant ninjas down there. Shame. I only managed to get half the achievements, which are proudly displayed in the game as badges on Lucy's backpack. The one I'm most proud of is for queuing, which is apparently a British tradition, though it's not for everyone. Us British sure know how to have a good time. Playing this game makes me feel like a kid in a candy store, where every pixel is a treat waiting to be discovered. Whether it's jelly snakes... Snakes. Why'd it have to be snakes? Lionel bars? They're a bit richy for my taste. Or Uranus. Work, rest and play with Uranus. What, 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 what? It's getting hot. Oh, 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 sorry, 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 did I burn your hand? Yes. 